Hello and welcome to our True Parents Way video series, Love Principles. This episode is entitled, The Most Difficult Principle. Exposition of Divine Principles states that sexual love is the center of goodness where the purpose of creation is fulfilled. At the Family Federation founding, True Father presented the ethical implications of this teaching. His words were shocking to some. Actually, he said, the owner of a husband's sexual organ is his wife, and the owner of a wife's sexual organ is her husband. Shocking, but not new. St. Paul wrote, that the wife does not have authority over, meaning ownership of, her own body, but yields it to her husband. In the same way, the husband does not have authority over his own body, but yields it to his wife. What's going on here? In principle, sacrifice determines ownership. Solomon knew that the woman who was willing to sacrifice her happiness for the baby's life was its true mother. True spouses sacrificed their own happiness for their partner. Jesus said, Greater love has no one than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. There is no greater love than to render ownership of one's sexual organ to one's spouse. Father Moon focused on the sexual organs because they exist for God's love. He said, why do the sexual organs exist? They exist for the sake of love. Then who is the owner of love? The owner of love is not man or woman, the owner of love is God. On the foundation of love and through love, God and humankind can unite. The sexual organs in marital union are the foundation of divine human oneness. This means that you meet God through your spouse. It means that your spouse's ownership represents God's ownership. In true love, we live for others, which means that each spouse takes the objective position to the other, then which, in the you first, no, you first, has the ultimate say. The cosmic object partner does. Ladies first. When I was a child, not only God, but my ancestors, my parents, and my future spouse owned my sexual organ. Now that I am married, it is God, my spouse, my children, and future descendants who own my sexual organ. The most private are the most public. In the blessing of our marriage, my wife and I vowed to inherit the heavenly tradition, to be faithful eternally, and to raise each child God gave us to be pure. With these things in mind, we will take another look at the fall Thanks for listening. Live for others, share the blessing. We'll see you next week.